Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sheepo5 And today we're gonna be seeing if this cheap PS4 controller can actually allow the strike pad to work properly on it Because I have a controller, let's say for example, this is $200 and this is $50 And we're gonna see if it actually allows this PS4 controller to work Some of you guys, you say that your strike pack is new, everything is working properly Even inside the strike pack, it says pack 2 over here like v2 and yeah that's working but what about the ps4 controller because the original one is definitely heavier than the fake one and you know if you buy a fake one it might not have all the proper parts it needs so in today's video we're gonna check if it's gonna work properly so first thing we're gonna do is go to the link in the description in all my videos concerning the strike pack we're gonna click on this link and download the SCP toolkit. Just wait for the link to open up properly and click download. So after it loads, it's gonna look like this. And don't worry about this, it's saying the Google Drive has detected issues with your download. It always says this, even every time I uninstall it and install it again. Don't click SCP toolkit setup, exe, just click download anyway. So the file doesn't take long to download. After it downloads, you just click on it and it goes through all this. Uh, I normally just download it in a C drive because it's just 23 MB. Next, don't click anything here, then click next. For you guys, if it does not install this exact video with this thumbnail over here, go and watch this video because I show you guys how to download like the proper Microsoft that you need because for some reason the SCP toolkit needs the Visual C++, the Microsoft C++, so just watch this exact video with this thumbnail over here and that should fix you guys' problem. I always tell you guys you have to plug your strike pack in to your PC first before you actually open up the SCP toolkit or it's not gonna work. So I plugged it in, it shows that PS4 that it is plugged in. You go to this one that says SCP Toolkit Installer, you just double click it. You can open it as an administrator if you want. This first one we don't need it because we're not using Bluetooth, we're not using a DualShock 3, we're using the DualShock 4. And we're gonna look for wireless, wireless control interface, wireless control interface. Some of you guys have one, sometimes I get one as well, sometimes you get two wireless so it doesn't matter, you just press install. Then I got the error that says unexpected error system did the objective. Wait, what does it say? Unexpected system null reference. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So it didn't work. Or is working? It's showing me. It showed me a light. Like it's glowing. It's gonna go off now. It's not going off. Yeah, it went off and it's gonna go back on. So I don't know what this means. Uh, I'm actually gonna open up FIFA and I'm gonna see if it's working. I'm pressing X. It's not working in the game. So you know what I'm gonna do? I have another controller. I bought this two from the same place. It's a fake PS4 controller as well. And we're gonna see if that works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go out of FIFA. I'm gonna unplug this and put it into the white PS4 controller. Bro, even the fake ones, it's so hard to get the strike pack on it. Like, it doesn't go on properly. I'm gonna wait for the light to go off, actually. I turned it on by accident. This. It already shows an error when I plug it in. So that just shows that there's a big problem, you feel me? Um, opening up the SCP toolkit. this 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 it shows the wireless it shows it install this one says successful and it says the error okay so it showed the error for the two fake ps4 controllers right the same error that says unexpected something 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 right so i'm gonna take this out pow pow I'm gonna plug it into my original. You see, it just connected so well. It just connected. I didn't even have to like force it or something like that. I'm gonna plug it into my 
original you hear that uh, PS4 controller again for reference this is like $200 this two are like $50, $50 so yeah anyway this is the color I closed it because I told you guys you have to open it up first I restart it what is all this stuff go 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 I'm gonna refresh my page just cause anyway double click this one two three wireless wireless now I'm gonna press install Plugin ports. Do it work? It's blue. It's blinking blue. It does blink sometimes, but it didn't make the sound. Ah, I muted my PC. It didn't make that sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up FIFA again, and we're gonna see. Which one did I put for X again? I forgot which one I put for X. Uh, I think this one. Yeah, it's working. I put this battle for X. So, can you guys see? It? It's working. And yeah, let me just go into a place where I can like pause and stuff to show you guys. So, yeah, the thing is actually working. What I use? I use X to pass, so I use this to pass. Pow. And it passes the ball. So, yeah, basically, guys, uh, if you have a fake PS4 controller, this is basically the point why it's not gonna work for you guys so maybe try and check if you guys have a real ps4 controller or not and let me just score pow video is over see you guys in the next one